This is my review of North Pole Zombie Massacre. This is North Pole Zombie Massacre. They really went all out with this title. They might as well have said Spartans with power armor riding dragons on fire straight into the depths of hell. In this game, Santa isn't given coal. He's given lead. North Pole Zombie Massacre is a reskinned version of Zombie Hunter. But in this game, you have Easy Mode, which is untimed for gathering presents, and Normal, which has a time limit before you fail the game. The plot of this game is that a bunch of mall Santas from around the world have gone to the North Pole. They go to the North Pole to read a list of all the most wanted presents for Christmas, unknown to them. One of the mall Santas was a part of a mall that had a zombie outbreak. And he went to the North Pole infected and infected all the elves and mall Santas. In the game, you carry, instead of saving survivors, you have to carry presents and drop them off in Santa's sleigh. Because you are Santa. This game has a few changes from Zombie Hunter. In Zombie Hunter, you kill zombies and you save survivors, which added cash to your bounty cash total. In this game, killing zombies and delivering presents to your sleigh gives you XP, which is needed for your new level system in this game. Leveling up allows you to use certain weapons in the game. And you now, instead of being able to use your whole entire inventory, you can only pick two weapons for a level before reaching this screen at the end of the level. Also, as you would imagine, maps have been redesigned and are still maze like, and zombies have been reskinned to orc elves and mall Santas. In addition to that, there is no longer a roof. You can just see into the night sky. In this game you have some of the same power-ups, like the double clip and the automatic health regeneration power-up. But in this game you also have a power-up that gives you extra time to deliver presents and a sack to carry presents, more presents. Personally, even though this game is almost identical to Zombie Hunter, except for some of the changes. I think I'd prefer this game because it's easier to see the zombies and whatnot. And it's not as claustrophobic. Also in this game you have radar. Red shows zombies, blue arrow shows you, and yellow shows the sled. Do I recommend this game? Yes, I do. The zombies still spawn behind you sometimes. And sometimes spawn right in front of you. Merry Christmas.